Well, I think it's time to go to Zora's domain. Did I check that? Yeah, I got the shrine here. I checked. Uh, could get that. Yeah, since we're here, let's get that. Oh. Oh. Can I rewind this? No. Yeah. And that's another cave. Let's check it. No, this may leave me somewhere else and stuff. No, no, no. Let's follow the road. I just want to follow the road like I did in the first game. <laughs> yeah, though, that skeleton is still around here. You know what? I think this skeleton is about the size of the dragon. Maybe a bit larger. But I don't, don't think it's longer. If it is, just by a little. No enemies. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. On the pond is cave. No enemies here. Oh, I guess. Just that. Uh, maybe the challenge will be to climb the mountain with monsters around. And I just came from above. Silver one. Huh? Would somebody ask me to save that guy? Silver Bokoblin. You would be foolish to call the Silver Bokoblins a mere nuisance. They have been influenced by Ganon's Finnish magic. So they are stronger than even um, the Black Bokoblins. It's said that the Demon King's power marked their silver bodies with purple patterns. The magical glow at uh, the tip of their horns may look funny at a glance. But don't take these creatures lightly or the joke will be on you. Oh no, I actually fall one. Oh yeah, I dropped one on the water. But I didn't take a picture of them. Well, well, well. Nobody saw nothing. Okay, the others don't know. Let's just wait for them to sleep. I want to talk to the guy. Oh, it's him. Will somebody ask me to save you? No. Stick strike. Oh, hang on. Good thing I didn't yet. Oh, he didn't die. Oh, 
there are more monsters below. Gnarled thick stick. Uh, stick cut from a tree trunk. It's been dried to increase its hardness. It has high attack power for something made of wood. What's here? Royal Broad Sword. A sword gifted to accomplished knights by the royal family, crafted for sword masters. It increases the power of Flurry Rush during perfect dodge. Can't talk to you. I'd like to talk to you. This kind of feels like a quest. Oh, I can't merge the cage. Uh, I don't think I can merge with. No, I don't remember if I tried. But with the one Zelda was in. Uh -huh. Thank you, I'm saved. I despair thinking no one will find me here. You might be wondering how I got here. Mm -hmm. A fine question. To explain, I must tell you about the Blood Moon. Some nights, no matter the moon's face, it rises full in red. Precisely at midnight, the whole sky turns crimson. And then, defeated monsters appear again. There you have it. The Blood Moon. It is my life's work to research this event. Why do the monsters revive? What connects them to the Blood Moon? I thought if I studied the monsters' ecology, I would discover something. But I got too close, and here I am. Please, thank you for saving me. Salt grilled mushrooms. A basic mushroom dish made by lightly salting mushrooms and grilling them. <laughs> On second thought, you deserve more than that. Here. Tasty fish and mushroom skewer. Grants a low level movement speed boost. A simple dish made by cooking skewered fresh fish alongside fragrant mushrooms. Oh. No, that's not enough to properly convey my gratitude. Here. Heart elixir. Restore you to full health and increase your maximum hearts. The additional hearts are lost as you take damage. Mm. Tonight is the 13th day moon. Okay. Mm, she grows larger every day on her path to fullness. Oh. Uh, well, I'm sure we'll meet again. Now, quick, let's split up before a monster spots it. Oh. Well, where can I meet you again? How do I get down there? cave and yeah, there may be like west cave or north or south or all of them okay my goal is to start from here ah okay if i found it already let's check it The monsters don't bother you, just me. <laughs> ah, okay, I could use that to climb. Surge. Is this also East Cave? Yeah. Okay, the East Cave of Bonnepon. Okay. Yep. There is only one. With many increases.
Tap sure. This mushroom grows wild in the Gerudo region. The cap is naturally insulated, so when used in cooking, it will offer protection against electricity. So, why is it here? So, are we going my way? No. But it's not far. Thank you. Very helpful. Hmm, I just wonder now. Do you guys mind? I need to reach my friend. Okay. Good to know. Plants don't need to breathe, just like corals. Mm -mm. You stay there for a while. And now I pull you here. Now hang on. Oh, it's right there. I didn't read that. I don't really remember what it was. What I read? Ah, I think it was the guy talking about Finley. Ah, there's a guy here. This is terrible. Ah, it is you. Uh, what a trick! What a thick, muddy gunk anyway. Uh, and those stones are blocking the road. This isn't good. The stones. Ah. Uh, many travelers turn back, of course they would in a situation like this. If you are not a bird or a fish, you have to follow this path to get to Zoro's domain. Sometimes all you can do is give up, but I have to get there. Finley is waiting for me at Zoro's domain. Uh, am I supposed to clear all of this up or just... Uh. It's a large area. Yeah. 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 Any comments? Hmm. No. Yeah. Oh. I just remember something. Come on. Uh, uh, yeah. Hello, Sidon. Oh, 
it does look like P. Oh, what happened here? Uh, death bell here. Oh, I haven't seen any sky octorok yet. There's the main head. I have I taken a picture of you guys? No. What a beautiful picture. What are Octorok? Although they spend most of their time in water, they burst out when they see someone. The rocks they spit out can be bounced back with a shoot. Didn't read about the like Easy. This electric. The electricity that engulfs the bodies of these battle like keys makes them more dangerous than certain time. They're capable of shocking anything they touch. Mm, where's the cave? This well is open. This was a coracle well. Ah, another one over here. Door on the table. All my life I've lived for food, and food has lived for me. I always thought anything was edible with prep and effort. Until now. This strange mechanical horn like thing someone gave me on the road was definitely inedible. If it were from a monster, I could cook or boil it, make it into a medicine, find some way to get it into my stomach. So, what creature is this from? I was told it fell from the sky during the upheaval, but what does that mean? Perhaps I tried to eat something beyond my understanding. The waters truly never cease. Chief Aritamo Foods Dance Partner. <laughs> I hope we cross paths with him and not just find his notes around. Good to know, a boomerang is always here. There was a car here. Ah, here's the cave. Oh, I hit it. Damn it. The bow. My bow. So we're shooting.
Okay, just another increase. Hmm. Silver Lizzo, Silver Lizzo Spear. This is a uh, Knight Spear. In the Silver Lizzo, also have a site for horn. Did I just come? I came here and didn't notice. Well, but they they can read most of the around. I here we would see side. Is on shield. Okay, there are more examples here now. Zora Bow, a bow favored by the Zora for fishing. It doesn't boast the highest firepower, but the special metal is scratch from Prater's durability. Ah, we're coming here. Another cave there. Orin Bridge Cave. Am I supposed to make a... Ah, uh, yes. Nice claimer. In that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. As you can see, I'm a little tied up with his monster situation. If you want to talk, You'll have to wait until later. Oh. 
not bad, but I can tell you're capable of so much more. Perhaps it's fate that we were to fight together like this. Your bravery deserves a reward. Take it. The fish skewer. Ooh. So, I mean, I'll look it. I am a monster hunter of some small renown. I spend my days traveling the lanes of Hyrule in pursuit of a myriad of prey. At the request of a fellow named Colting, ah, I am pres presently hunting bubble frogs, mysterious cave dwelling creatures. Mm. I've heard that one such beast lurks in a cave in this very region. Yeah, I just got it. Question is which cave? Mm. Everyone, every cave. If I could just determine which cave it's hiding in, slaying the bubble frog would be a simplicity itself. But until I find that all-important cave, I can't demonstrate my worth. I suppose it's supposed to be somewhere nearby too. Perhaps I'll search more thoroughly after I've rested my mind and body. Ah, this path's blocked as well. Another one. Let's see. Did they change the? They added something to Zora history. Learnings, learnings of the Zora Part One: The Waters of Zora Domain, as told by Prince Sidon. Long, long ago, right here in Lanaro, incredible transformations, both subtle and drastic in nature, shaped the land. The town mountains birthed clouds. These clouds cry tears of rain, and this rain fill our deep valleys past the brim. In time, this overflowing water became the Zora River, which bred waterfalls that fell and nourished the vast linear wetlands. Perhaps it, is, it was inevitable that my Zora ancestors, who wandered in search of precious water, would finally settle here. The mountains of Lanero are blessed with high quality stone. The structures built from said stone are solid yet refined. Just like the Zora in our domain, our buildings exist in harmony with the water. It is a beautiful symbol of our way of life. If you go to the edge of the domain, close your eyes and listen closely. You shall be greeted by the gen gentle sound of water. This kind, soothing sound is a testament to the happy life the Zora are so grateful to have found here. As one born of royal Zora blood, my duty is as clear as it is unshakable. I sign on swear here and now, I shall protect our home with my very life, that the gentle sound of water may never cease in our beloved domain. Okay, now, so I have to remember where all of them were. <laughs> Still this our bow. Uh, hang on, I would come from there and over here. There should be another one. No? Was it here? Ah, there it is. Uh, Learns of the Zora Part 2. The legend of Ruto, our great ancestor, as told by Prince Sidon. It is written that long ago there was a strong willed Zora princess who was as mandarin as a winding river. This princess, who was dearly loved by her fellow Zora, was as noble as she was innocent. Her name was Ruto. One day, a powerful and wicked man tried to take over Haru and brought great ruin to the once peaceful Zora's domain. Our tales speak of falling Zora soldiers drifting down the river as it sadly reflected. What? Our tales speak of, the, 
of fallen Zoro soldiers drifting down the river as it sadly reflected the chaotic retreat of the terrified Zora. Are the tails wrong? Or... Because they were frozen, they didn't really fight the war, did they? Princess Ruto bravely fought back her tears as she bore witness to the tragic misery unfolding in the domain. Even amid her heartbreak, the Zora princess did all she could to help the weak elder escape. Next, she swam against the river's current and climbed the mighty waterfall to challenge her foe. The details of this fight have fallen victim to the haze of time. Few details remain. Still, it is said that she was aided by the Prince of Haru and the Hero of Legend, and together they saved Haru. Okay, this can be then like the Chao timeline where people supposedly imprison Ganondorf and stuff. Because Link wasn't known as a hero then. So the legend goes. I, Sidon, Prince of the Zora, cannot help but ponder these events as I listen to the Zora children play in all their innocence. As Princess Ruto's descendant, it is my fate to carry the torch of her brave acts into tomorrow and beyond. I shall not fail. Hmm. But yeah, but I'm not. Sh I don't think that official timeline is right either. So oh, hang on, there was a cave there. I didn't get to that cave. Oh. Well, this channel. Uh, I think this will be long. Uh, yeah, let's go there. When I out, I enter there. Because if I fully stop, the currents may get in the way. Oh, hang on. I have a quest here, don't I? Seek the crystal connects to the beam and offer to the shrine. Do so, and I will grant you a light that benches evil. Or at least channel crystal. Oh, where could it be? that to go through the mountain or something. Another one. No. Ah, so there was another entrance here. 
Okay, but that's not really what I would consider channel. Oh yes, there was another one down there. Okay, learnings of the Zora, part 3, the Great King Dorphan, as told by Prince I Just now I realized, did Dorphan die? Several springs after I lost my dear sister, a large group of Lizalfos attacked the domain. Uh, it mattered not that this was my first true battle, the expectations of those around me weighted heavy on my shoulders. And the absence of Mifa, who had always been there to encourage me with loving kindness, was like a spear to the heart. Uh, as for my own spear, though I was highly trained for its use, it seemed to only cut the air and slash the water's surface. I was taken off guard by a surprise attack from Trillis Alphos hiding at the water's edge, each with their blade fixed on me. I knew that my time had come, and that, it and that is when Trillis Alphos disappeared, as quickly as they had arrived. In their place, I saw the towering figure of my father, the great King Dorfan, who had just bested my foes with ease. Sign of my son, he said firmly, you will allow your heart to falter. That is the quickest way to fall on the battlefield. His words cut deep, but as I stood on the brink of despair, a familiar voice gently encouraged me. Your king needs you. Many soldiers later attested that they were certain they had also heard the sweet voice of Mipha on that day. From then on, my heart was true and my resolve firm. By laying strength toward King, we were able to save the domain. Lutus crossing. Ah, there's no longer a uh, moblin here. Which will burst that. No damage, Tulling. Two sisters of different blood, as told by Prince Sidon. When I was young, I had a rational fear of strangers. I was particularly bashful around Yona, paralyzed even. She was already so mature in manner, and she treated me like a little brother, even though we were not related. There came an unseasonably heavy rain that quickly flooded the rain. Us children who were playing there were swept away. I was battered by the water's strong flow, my fins helpless to resist. It was Yona who dragged me to the safety of the shore. The water continued to swell as the shore waned, but Yona was unflappable, sweetly comforting me as I shivered in fear. It was, it was Mifa, my dear sister, who finally showed up to rescue us with other Zora adults in tow. In tow. I still remember Yona's face as she gazed upon up at Mifa in admiration. My face must have looked the same as I gazed at Yona. As a child, I had two big sisters, one by birth and one by chance. Yona looked up to Mifa and I was in awe of them both. 
Before I knew it, years had passed and my feelings for Yon became more difficult to quantify. Then, one day, my father informed me that the amazing young woman who had once been like sister to me was to be my bride. Don't they choose? Mipa had chosen, Ruto had chosen, uh, and his father just informed him. Perhaps these feelings and memories are too dear and private to commit to history, but such is the tale of the Zoro Prince. Here, I guess. Let's go. There was one there. Ah, and this is where the only green Lizalfos in Master Mode used to be. Oh, hang on. I wonder the impression there were two green Lizalfos. I didn't take a picture of a box yet, have I? Uh, grassland fox. This breed of fox is common to grasslands and forests and is hallmarked by its fluffy white tipped tail. Unlike other foxes, they tend to act independently rather than form packs. Being omnivorous, they hunt animals smaller than themselves and offer stick to eat fruit and insects. Other foxes tend to act in packs. There. Yeah, I actually passed by there. Uh, part 5. The Zora armor she left behind, as told by Prince Sidon. For some time after I lost my beloved sister, even the light shining on the water seemed dark and dreary to my eyes. But as they say, time heals all wounds, no matter how deep. I can now speak of her with a smile, as is only fitting. I shall now tell the tale of the Zora armor that my sister crafted for her future husband, as per our ancient custom. One day... Ah, oh, will he have uh, uh, armor grasped by is bright. One dark day, the domain was in great peril, and I sought help from a traveling Highland to save her home. He was sparing with his words, <laughs> but yet I trust him at once. Uh, as fate would have it, he was a childhood friend of Mifas. My father, King Dorothan, troubled by the domain suffering, uh, suffering, requested his help. The swordsman agreed without hesitation. Father bequeathed my sister's Zora armor to this courageous soul, along with her hopes for the safety of the domain. Yes, yeah, so why, where are my clothes? The armor fit Link perfectly, so perfectly that Consumer Muzu, who then harbored hatred of Hylians, could not object. My sister had already left this world, and with her went the dearly held intentions she had instilled in that special armor. Yet, with Link's help, she shined a light on the Zora in our hour of need, reaching between worlds, worlds with gentle fingertips. Huh. This will help. <laughs> 